What's up guys, it's Winter. Today I'm going to show you how to install and boot up Aurora Dashboard for your RGH or JTAG. If you don't know what Aurora is, it's basically like Freestyle Dash, only newer and updated. Um, it came out a few, maybe like a year ago, and no one ever uses Freestyle Dash anymore. So it doesn't really support Xbox Unity or anything like that, like it used to. I think it still does, but I never use it. But Aurora is the thing now. It does everything that Freestyle does, like Unity Strips, Plugins, Screen Capture Viewer, all that stuff. And once you go to the website up here, it will be down in the description. It shows you all the stuff it does, screenshots, see, it's got file transfer protocol, plugin from Freestyle Dash Launch, everything. Just like Freestyle, even tells you the weather like Freestyle. Tells you all the stuff they have updated and added. Alright. Well, if you want to read through all this, you can. I'm not. So let's go ahead and go down to where it says download right here. Right here is the download. You just want to click on the download. And it will go ahead and download it. Alright, once it's done downloading, move it to your desktop. I'm going to move it right here, right in the middle, so we can see it. What you want to do is just drag wherever and open it. Alright, all these folders right here, you'll need all of these, so what you want to do is minimize and extract files to desktop, you just want to extract it, and wherever it is extracted to, which is kind of a problem because I don't know where it's extracted to, oh, here it is, it's extracted here, what you want to do is open up Xbox 360 Neighborhood, Right here. If you don't have that, there'll be a video down in the description on how to install Xbox 360 Neighborhood on your computer. You want to click on JTAG. You want to click on Retail Hard Drive Emulator. All right, and then you want to take your Aurora. Here's mine. I'm not going. Mine's outdated, but same thing. You want to take it and drag it in. All right. Once it's dragged in. Go ahead and open up the Aurora once you drag it in and click on Aurora.xex and you want to run it. Alright guys, I'll see you at the JTAG. What's up guys, it's Winter. Um, right now I'm going through the settings of Aurora Dash. To get to the settings, you just want to hit the start button on the controller. If you go to content, you can manage the game path or update the titles. And if to add a game path, you just want to hit add. Go to change, HDD1. Go to the game you want to add on the dashboard. In my case, I'm going to be putting South Park Stick of Truth. Alright, once you click on it, or any game you want, make sure you put your death to death or whatever to 6 or 7. Put it on applications, and boom, it's been added. Oh, there's some modules for Dash Launch, Freestyle plugins, and stuff. All that should be active. If you have any more, they just stay active. All right, now you're back on the dashboard. Go find Stick of Truth. Up oh, here it is. Click on it. Shows you that I have no updates installed. But if you go to Unity Marketplace, it shows two, three updates available. And I don't have any installed, so I'm just going to click on version 3 here, and it's going to download it. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and go to installed and hit the A button to activate it. Alright. Now I'm going to show you how to set it to where your console boots up to Aurora Dash. The first thing you want to do is go to Dash Launch. Any way you get to Dash Launch, you can do any way, but I'm going the freestyle way. To go to dash launch is go through file manager and all that but you can go through it any way you want what you want to do is click on pass as you see I already have it set but I'm going to show you how to set it you want to go to the default tab section and click on HDD how's your hard drive you want to go to Aurora release package yours won't look like that it'll be 0 0.6 instead of 0 0.5 you want to click on the Aurora.xex right here. You just don't have the, just don't leave all those buttons alone. Then you want to go here 
and go on HDD, hover over it, and hit the X button, and that will save your settings. Hit the B button to back out, and when you back out, you'll load into Aurora Dash, and it'll do this every time. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any problems, please comment down below, and I'll try my best to fix it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later.